Leica just unveiled the third generation of their cell phone. We're talking about the Leica LEDs Phone 3. This device repeats a lot of things from the prior generation, so let me inform you about the characteristics we are going to discover in it. Clearly, its design is distinctive due to the presence of the Leica brand, in addition to featuring a synthetic leather finish for the back cover. Interestingly, it also comes with a case included in the box. One protective cover for the camera module, something we have not seen before in any other cell phones on the market. I believe it'd be fascinating to start considering this proposal to incorporate a cover for cell phones that have a completely round module, like the one I have in my hands, or like the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, or like some Huawei Honor devices and similar ones. I have already commented on several occasions that the fact that they have only one round module makes it much riskier for this glass to break because it would affect all the cameras inside. So I think a good way to take care of it would be to put a cover on it, but obviously it's up to the user whether they want to keep it or remove it so they can always live without that cover. So the design proposal looks interesting, highlighting the red color of the logo. Leica has a weight of 209 grams and what stands out the most about it is its 47 megapixel camera with a one inch sensor. It offers a 6x digital zoom, which obviously sounds like a too short zoom, but believe me that being from Leica, the zoom will surely be very well optimized at any point in that range. The sensor is CMOS and comes accompanied by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. In the front camera, we will find 12 6 megapixels, curiously with a greater zoom up to 8x and its aperture is f. So they are capable of simulating the result that different Leica lenses would give you, like a 50mm Noctilux, another one of 28mm Sumilux, and another one of 35mm Sumilux, also simulating the aperture of the diaphragm from f1.2 to f. So there are multiple outcomes that Leica has published, captured with this device, which obviously appear appealing, although not as impressive as they would appear with the tangible lens. It also includes other functions to improve the perspective of photographs, especially when you're going to capture a building that usually appears tilted, so the device together with the gyroscope are capable of detecting the tilt angle and then making the correction so that the photograph is much better aligned. It also encompasses a range of tones in photography, including contemporary cinema, improved classic cinema, vivid imagery, and ultimately the timeless beauty of monochromatic photographs. So the whole experience of this device revolves around the camera and its interface filled with various options. But also, as mentioned, it has a powerful processor and 512 GB of storage with a 5000 mAh battery. The screen is a 6-inch OLED with Gorilla Glass protection and it also has IP certification, so it's going to offer us a good level of resistance. The screen has a resolution of 2730 x 1260 pixels with OLED technology. I forgot to mention that the camera aperture is f9 and it also supports 12 GB of RAM and a micro SD card of up to 1 terabyte of storage. Interestingly, it does include a headphone jack and supports Bluetooth 5.3, has NFC and an in-screen fingerprint reader, so we're definitely talking about a pretty good device. Interestingly, on the official website they only disclose main camera specs. But in the images it appears to have a second camera, and in the camera interface it seems to have a button to activate the ultra-wide camera, but no details are revealed about that camera. This device has been exclusively released for Japan, and they don't seem to have plans to launch it globally. At the moment they haven't announced the price, so we can only know its specifications.